Right, alright guys, I'm out bush again, and this is what I've come across. It's a lantana bush. Or lantana, depends how you say it. Maybe I'm saying it wrong. Apparently the natives used to like eating them. I had a go at some on my last trip out camping. They weren't too bad. Pretty sweet. Big seed in the middle of them. These ones obviously pass their use by date. They're all a little bit rotten. This is what the plant looks like. And I ate them and I didn't die. I'm not saying you should. I'm just telling you if you're out there in a survival situation, you can probably eat these as long as they're really ripe. They've got to be purple, if not black. Because if you eat them green, it says they may kill you, which they might. I'm not testing that for you guys. I'll test to see what they taste like if they're not supposed to kill you. But they say these will kill you if you eat them and they're not ripe. So this is what the bush looks like. I'm sure you can find them all over Queensland, probably all over the country. It's a bit of a pest. It's a bit of a weed. But you can eat them, as far as I know, anyway. They're sweet, they've got a big seed in them though, so give you a little bit of energy, but uh, nothing a great deal. Right, speaking of pests and weeds, while I'm out here, and I've touched on this before in some of my fishing videos, out here there is a ton of, oh, big meat ants nest, there is a ton of native passion fruits. Now I'm going to see if I can find some of them for you and give you a little bit more information about them. Like I said, they're also a bit of a weed, but uh, they do taste good. My kids absolutely love them. Every time we go fishing, that's all they're after. They don't care about the fish. They're just chasing those bush passion fruits. All right, so I haven't been able to find any around here, but I've definitely seen some on the drive-in. So we'll stop in on the way back out, and I'll give you a little bit more information and a little bit better look at them. All right, guys. I'll see you out there. Here's these passion fruits here. Look at them. They just grow like a weed all over everything, but they are sweet. Birds love them. Like I was saying, my kids love them. So let's find some nice ripe ones here. You want them like this. See, they've got the husk on them. There's one that's not quite ripe. The husk is still green around it. You want to get them where the husk is either fallen completely off like this one. They should just fall off. Or like this where the husk is just rotten and about to fall off. So if I pop one here for you, you can see that the seeds inside, very similar to a passion fruit seed. I think that's where they get their name from. I am speculating. If you look at that, it looks just like a passion fruit. So I'm not actually a big fan of eating these. My kids love them. They're actually too sweet for me. They are sickly sweets the way I describe them. They'd be awesome in a survival situation to get your sugars up. But uh, yeah, I don't really like them. I'll try one now for you though. That's a nice one. Yeah, like I said, they're too sweet for me. They are so sweet. They'd be awesome in cooking, I think, though. Maybe chuck them in a damper or something like that to sweeten them up. But it'd be handy for you guys to know. Depends where you are. They do like these sunny sort of open areas. And you see them growing on fences and stuff like that all the time through town. But, uh, yeah, if you've got them, they're a bit of a weed. But they are a pretty good food source. Again, I'm not telling you to eat them. I'm just saying if you need food, you... Well... I've eaten them, the kids eaten them, they haven't died, so they can't be that bad for you. No. Right, oh guys, yeah. cheers. See you on the next one.